Hi, I'm Christina and welcome to my channel, Krista Yoga. In today's video, we'll be doing a short sequence that you can do anytime, anywhere. This is perfect for the airplane, if you're traveling, if you're on a road trip maybe and you're feeling tight and a lot of tension in your muscles from sitting for long periods of time, you can even do this at the office on your lunch break or whenever you just need a little moment to yourself. This is just a great little sequence to keep in your back pocket whenever you need to de-stress and to stretch and move your body. Also, for your convenience, I am providing this class free of charge for download. So if you're traveling and you want to take this with you and practice yoga with me on the go, the link is in the description box below and in the cards of this video. So hit that I. So if you'd like to download this class for completely free, you can do so with the link provided. Before we get started, if you are not yet subscribed to this channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below because I post two free yoga videos, completely free, every single week. It is free to subscribe and I would love to have you as a subscriber. So if you're ready, let's get started. So I don't have a chair, I'm just gonna sit on the floor, but if you're in a chair, then that is fine. Wherever you are, sit up tall, bring your hands to your legs, and we're going to begin with some neck rolls. So drop your chin to your chest. Take your head over to the right, bring your right ear to your right shoulder. Bring your head around, following the pattern of a circle, looking up. Gently continue moving, bring your left ear towards your left shoulder, and then once again, drop your chin to your chest. We're going to take this circle several times, keep the rest of your body nice and stable, just relaxing as you rotate your head around, drawing circles in the air with your nose, an imaginary circle, relaxing and removing any tension you might have from your neck, and just rotate your head around several more times. One last rotation to the right and then drop your chin to your chest and begin your circle in the opposite direction. Left ear to left shoulder, gently bringing it back. Right ear to right shoulder and drop your chin to your chest once again. Don't forget to keep the rest of your body nice and stable. As you can see, my eyes are closed. If you would like to close your eyes, you can do that. If you don't want to do that, that's fine. Just take your head and neck shoulders nice and slow. Take one final circle. Drop your chin to your chest for a moment. Feel the back of your neck stretching. Slowly bring your head upright. From here, take your shoulders and roll them forward, up, and back. Both of your shoulders rotating simultaneously. Every time you bring them back, open your chest. Feel the 
muscles in the front of your chest opening and stretching. Gently rotating your shoulders, releasing the tension in the front of your shoulders. About four more rotations. And then bring your shoulders in the opposite direction, back, up, and forward. This time, focus your attention on stretching the muscles around your shoulder blades. Each time you bring them forward, feel your shoulder blades coming apart from each other, stretching the upper back. Four more shoulder rotations here. Slowly come to stillness. Take your right arm, cross it in front of your body. Hook the arm underneath. And if you don't have room on your side to do this, you can cross your arm behind you and hold on to your left shoulder. Just gently pull your arm in towards your chest, whether it's straightened out or bent, and stretch the outer edge of your right shoulder, sitting up tall as you do so and breathing deeply. Release your arm, release your arm down, and then switch sides. Cross the left arm in front of your chest, either reaching it out or bending it back and holding on to your right shoulder. Hook that arm in with your opposite arm and then stretch the outer edge of your left shoulder. Sit up tall as you're stretching, breathing into the stretch. Slowly release your arms down, and then take your right arm, raise it up, and bend the elbow. Make sure that the hand is resting on your upper back behind you. Take your opposite hand and hold on to the right elbow, and then gently pull it in towards the center line of your body, behind your head. So you're holding your elbow behind your head. Sitting up nice and tall here, lengthening your spine as you're stretching the tricep muscle in your arm. And just breathe into your stretch. Slowly release your hand from your elbow and switch sides. Take your left arm, bend it behind your head, rest your hand on your upper back. Take your right hand and hold on to your left elbow, gently pulling it in towards the center line of your body, sitting up tall and stretching your arm. You can close your eyes if you'd like, of course, at any time, and just breathe into your stretch. Slowly release your hand from your elbow, release your arms down. If you're sitting in a chair, you can use the arms of the chair, or if you're not, you can use your legs. 
but take an inhale and lengthen your spine. And on your exhale, twist to the right. Bring your left hand to your right leg or the arm of your chair. Your right arm somewhere behind you, anywhere you can place it. And then look as far behind you as you can. Stay even on both sit bones at the bottom of your pelvis as you're sitting. And twist. Slowly unwind from your twist and we'll twist in the opposite direction. So once again, take your right hand, either place it on your leg or on your chair arm. Bring your left arm behind you anywhere that you can place it. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, twist around to the left and look as far behind you as you can. Breathing deeply into your twist. Slowly unwind from your twist. And if you're able to, come up to standing. Stand up tall, bring your legs, hips distance apart. You can also do this from your chair if you would like, but it's more beneficial, especially if you've been sitting down for long periods of time, to stand up on your legs and on your feet. So inhale, raise your arms up any way that you can. Even if it's just like this, you know, if you're limited on space, this is what you might have to do. Reach your arms up, look towards the ceiling, energy throughout your entire body, stretching both sides of your body. On your next exhale, you're going to fold over your legs. You can bend your knees, bring your hands to the floor. So if your hands don't reach the floor, be sure that your knees are bent so that they can touch the floor, and then relax your head over your legs. Allow it to hang over, releasing your neck muscles. Breathe for a moment, stretching your low back, your hamstrings, and your glutes. And slowly come back up to standing. Reach your arms up one more time. However you can get them up, reaching them up. Look upwards towards your hands. Energy throughout your entire body, reaching up through your fingertips. And then one more time, we're going to fold over. Folding down, bring your hands to the floor. Bend your knees if you can't touch the floor. Relax your head over completely. Releasing out your neck muscles, allowing your head to hang over, breathing here. Slowly come back up to standing. Roll your shoulders back one more time. Bring your hands to meet at the center of your chest. Take a deep breath in. Stand up tall. Lengthen your whole spine. Take a deep breath out. And bring your hands to meet at the center of your chest. Bow your head to your fingertips. Namaste. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this class. If you liked this video, please hit that like button down below. It supports my channel immensely and I would greatly appreciate it. Also, if you are not yet subscribed, hit the subscribe button down below as well. I post two free yoga videos every single week and I would love to have you as a subscriber. Don't forget to come down to the comment section and say hi, leave any comments or questions you might have about yoga. 
I always love to hear from you and I check every single one of my comments. For more helpful tips, yoga advice, health and wellness, head on over to kriskayoga.com. I provide a lot of yoga resources over there, so don't forget to check that out as well. And definitely head over to Instagram and follow me at kriskayoga over there because I am doing a lot of exciting things on Instagram. I update my Insta story every single day. I post every single day with inspiration yoga poses and then i have some exciting challenges coming up over there with prizes and giveaways so definitely head over to instagram to check all of that out as well thank you so much see you next time